And so I, I thought I might begin just by sharing with the audience what a long-term acute care hospital is, because a lot of times there's misconceptions. It's not a nursing home. It's not a skilled nursing facility. It's not a outpatient rehab facility. It is a hospital, an acute care hospital. The difference is that we don't have an ER and we don't have an OR, but we have most of everything in between. And what we're doing traditionally is supporting those larger hospitals that have patients that still require acute care, but no, don't need to be sitting in their intensive care units. And, and those are long-term ventilator patients, wound care management, long-term IV antibiotic therapy, renal dialysis. Those are the kind of things that generally bring people to us with a average length of stay of about 29 to 30 days. And so our role of what we've provided before the crisis and really what we're providing now during the crisis largely hasn't changed a lot because we can be selective of filling the gaps and decompressing some of the pressures that are on our referring hospitals. So what we've initially focused on is not becoming COVID-19 hospitals, but to leave those patients in the larger facilities where they have a higher amount of resources and personnel and emergency scenarios and operating rooms to be able to care for those patients, but to open up beds, virtual beds for them by taking those other patients out of their ICUs, long-term ventilator care, wound care, et cetera, the ones that I just mentioned. Now that we're sort of getting towards a, a little bit farther down the line of this curve though, we're gonna be providing a, another important aspect on the back end, which is caring for the recovering COVID-19 patients. And so that's what we're spending a lot of time on preparing right now is having all the right protocols in place to make sure that we can safely transfer those patients to our facility, keep our staff safe, and provide the care that will support our referring hospitals.